This is one of the absolute most coveted colors in Hermes history. Let's jump right in. I'm gonna leave this gorgeous beauty right here while we thank today's sponsor, Goelia. We are doing a beautiful, gorgeous, classic fashion lookbook today. And I'm gonna show you some seriously stunning pieces that can last forever in your wardrobe. Classic clothing that can stand the test of time, that is not overly trendy, that will not date in one season. And that's exactly what I have for you today. I wanna to start with what I'm actually wearing, which is a scarf as a top. I've always wanted to rock this look and I've never had the right scarf to do it. This is a gorgeous silk scarf with double print tech and fun fact, this is made in the exact same factory as Louis Vuitton. So you know this is premium top quality luxury fashion, but not at the Louis Vuitton price point. I've never owned a scarf this size that I could really wear like over my shoulders as a shawl as an actual scarf, as a top. You can rock it one shoulder or like a tube top the way I'm wearing it now. Really open in the back and it's so perfect and beautiful for summer. I love it with white pants, white skirts, jeans, girl, you name it. Now, while we're on the topic of white, I am so excited about this outfit as well. The buttons on this outfit are so fabulous. You guys know if you've been subscribed that I love easy fashion, a one and done dress or a one and done set. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to style it. It's all about the matching set. It's a skirt, so it's got that layered flap in the front and in the back. It's just very simple and elegant. So well priced for the quality and level of fashion that you're getting. I would say this outfit that I paired together is so me. This black and white jeweled button short sleeve knit with the super elegant midi skirt. It flares out, it cinches in the waist, it is so feminine, it is so elegant, and so, so classy. Throw this on with flip-flops during the day, you are looking like a million bucks, but you're casual and comfortable. Like, there's really not much going on here, but there's so much going on. And then you throw on a pair of heels for nighttime, and it is just such an elegant, fashionable, classic, feminine look. Lady in red. I, I couldn't help myself. There's a song about this dress. Whoever sings that song was thinking about a red lace dress just like this. The epitome of feminine. And you know I love those fashion pieces that really look like cutting edge fashion and really high end fashion. Not your fast fashion sheer. This is good quality, soft and silky, not rough and hard like that fast fashion sheer. Again, you can wear it on your shoulders or off the shoulder. So high fashion looking, belt it or don't belt it, whatever you want. It's super stretchy, but you can make it very form fitting. The last time I worked with Goelia, I talked about how the aesthetic was really giving me Lydia Elise Millen, and that's this dress to a T. So sophisticated, so chic, but casual. With the belt, it's just, it's very Hermes, it's very chic, very high end, so classy. A quick little mention for this cute black knit set, which is so easy. I don't know how many times I could say it. You throw it on and you go, it's black, just like an LBD. Everyone needs an LB. S, little black set. Last but most certainly not least, this beautiful classic black dress. The buttons are so spectacular. This is a classic cut dress, so classy and so elegant. It really feels like a Gucci piece. This just really gives me such Gucci vibes. I love, love, love this dress. So elegant and so classic and a forever piece for your wardrobe. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have an insane, crazy discount with Goelia. 25% off. 25% off already really fabulous priced fashion. You cannot go wrong. I will link absolutely every single piece down below. Please let me know in the comments which ones are your favorites and which ones you think suit your personal style the most. All right, without further ado, let's get to this baby. Oh my gosh, you have no idea what I did to get this bag. I did a lot. Well, I didn't do anything too crazy. I waited and I was persistent and I said, look, 
When I discussed with my Hermes sales associate what I wanted for my next bag, I was kind of not sure. I was pretty sure I wanted a Kelly, but I wasn't sure on the color. I gave a few options and as time went on, I really narrowed it down to the point where I was like, I just want Mauve Sylvester. It's my dream color, it's my dream bag. This is one of the most coveted Hermes colors ever in history. And I knew it was gonna be really, really hard but I was really persistent and I was also really patient because I could have gotten a bag over two months ago, but I waited for this one. Now I did already film an unboxing for Instagram. You guys are going to love it. This is literally the best unboxing I've ever filmed ever before. But for YouTube, it was not an appropriate video because it was kind of more short form. Oh my God, do you care about this? See, I don't know how to do this. I'm not an unboxing savant aficionado, if you will. Ugh. Okay, you're probably like, shut up, may tell you, show us the back. I'm going to, I swear to God. When I see unboxings, all these people, they're always showing tiny little details before they get to the star of the show. I'm not gonna do that. I am gonna show you the star of the show up close and personal. You know the deal, this isn't your first rodeo. We open her up like so, like so, like that. And like I said, I really did already. Oh, it's upside down, oops, see? We are just winging it, you guys, but that's what we do here. All right, I'm never getting rid of this bag until I just succumb to my life's journey on this earth. <sighs> what are you goddamn talking about? Girl, I don't know, okay? We are here. Oh, can you even? I'm sorry. Listen to me. We got to chat because Hermes has done pink several times. Never has Hermes done a pink like mauve. Sylvester. I don't know why it's called Mauve Sylvester. Who's Sylvester? This certainly is not Mauve. I don't know. I don't know who you are, Sylvester, but you came through. I am obsessed. This is the most stunning shade of pink I've ever seen, ever. Okay, let's get close up for you. We're trying to, I just, I, I want to show you the color. Sometimes the overexposure of the settings doesn't show the color very well. This is the best pink that Hermes has ever done. For me, palladium is very necessary for this color because it's a very cool toned pink. And I think that the palladium is the perfect complement for this bag. Here is the gorgeous lock and clochette, the strap, stunning. Stunning, just stunning babes. Should we open it? You know what? When I get these bags, I always immediately take the plastic off the hardware. I'm not one of those people that keeps the plastic on the hardware because I think it's like kind of odd. You know the deal, you guys. You know the deal. Oh my. I feel like when you leave the plastic on the Hermes hardware, it's kind of like leaving a plastic cover on your couch. It's like, it's weird. I don't know. It's like so weird. Like you're wearing the bag, you're wearing the bag out. Like you're leaving the plastic on like the top of your watch. Like it's bizarre. I never do it. I rip it off all the time. For some odd reason with this bag, I find it a little challenging to take the plastic off this hardware. I think it's because this is the bag I've wanted the most ever. This is the bag I thought I would never get, I could never get, and this is exactly what I wanted. And with Hermes, I don't always get exactly, exactly what I want. For example, this is the last bag that I ever got from Hermes. And when I say this is not what I wanted, it's definitely what I wanted. I'm not gonna go to Hermes and accept a bag offer that I don't like. All those rumors online are not true. You definitely do not have to accept a bag that you do not like. I loved this bag. What I wanted was blue broom. And what he brought me was blue pale. And I thought, 
That is absolutely magnificent. I'm going to take it. If Blue Broom was standing in front of me, I probably would have chosen Blue Broom, but I was a little late for that color. And the same goes for this. I was also offered this time around Mauve Pale, which is the pale muted pink sister to Mauve Sylvester. And it was absolutely magnificent as well. But I said, no, I said this time I'm gonna wait. And I am so, so glad that I did. I will say, while I do tell you that it is absolutely exactly what I wanted, I did initially request Epsom. I wanted Palladium hardware, I wanted a 28, but I did ask for Epsom Cellier. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know the difference. Return A is when the stitching is on the inside and there's like a piping around. And then Cellier is when the stitching is on the outside, which is typically done with firmer leathers. I was offered that bag, but I was offered that in Mauve Pale. So it was between Mauve Pale Epsom Cellier 28 or Mauve Sylvester Clemence Kelly 28 Return A. And I had to take the Mauve Sylvester because this is just the most spectacular pink I've truly ever seen. I absolutely am dead, dead over this bag. I actually feel like this bag is so good I don't even want a twilly for it. It just needs to shine all the way through. Okay, you guys, please forgive me. I wanted to, I, it's future me. I've already made and edited this video. It's uploaded on YouTube on the back end, but I just had a very intense skin treatment and I thought, oh my God, I really wanna to talk to you guys about it and like just put in a few minutes of it. I did some behind the scenes and I thought I really should include it in this video. I went to V Beauty Spa, which I've talked to you guys about and what I've said about her is that she's always on the latest skincare. So I basically did some sort of mesotherapy. It's like Profilo, but stronger, more intense and more results driven and basically um i explained it in the video it's all a lot of medical grade skincare terms that i don't really retain but really wanted to share it with you because victoria always is up on the latest technology with skincare i really feel like when i'm there and i'm not sponsored at all guys not at all i feel like when i'm there it's such a good opportunity to do behind the scenes. So I always ask her, can I film? Can I ask you questions? And I feel like it's something that you guys would like to hear about. A lot of you guys aren't even located in Toronto. So you can always ask your esthetician or your nurse if they are up to date with the latest technology and the latest in skincare. I just know if you are in Toronto, V Beauty is just really on top of her game. So I just wanted to let you guys know the latest thing that I did. I have like these lumps on my neck. Feel free to fast forward. I am sorry to interrupt. Um, enjoy the rest of the unboxing. And if you like the skincare, then check out a little behind the scenes. Mwah. Thank you. So this is what I was talking to you guys about the other night. And this is something that Victoria does and it's the it's skin bio remodeling. Yes. And so this is a form of what, mesotherapy? The combination of polynucleotides, hyaluronic acid. Polynucleo? Polynucleotides, hyaluronic acid. And glutathione. Not so bad at all. Hmm, thank God. This is, this treatment is, you call this what? It's bioremodeling. Bioremodeling with Victoria. This is something that is very good for the skin, mm -hmm. right? Maintenance of your own beauty. Can you tell us what's in it? Polynucleotides stem cells from salmon. It remodels the tissues. Remodels the tissues, okay. I'm actually learning while I'm filming. This is why I come here, you guys, because I don't know where anyone else has this kind of education. Oh. Oh, wow. How stunning they look together. Have you ever in your life? Huh, look how stunning. Look at these. This is also Clemence, by the way, with gold hardware. Oh my goodness gracious. I will tell you on this Hermes journey, I cannot with the whole journey, Hermes journey. Stop with the Hermes journey. Stop with journey. It's not a journey. A long travel across the world that's a journey spending money at the hermes boutique and then getting offered a bag not a journey i also was offered the mauve pale epsom in 25 by the way offered to me in both 25 and 28 
I know that everybody loves the whole little 25 centimeter bag thing. And yeah, if I had like 25 Kelly bags and Birkins, then maybe I'd go for a 25 to switch it up. I do have one 25 centimeter Birkin. I just think a 28 is the absolute most classic size. It is so elegant and feminine and you can absolutely wear this daytime or nighttime. Whereas something like a Birkin 35, you're not gonna wear for nighttime with like a dress. I, ugh, I can't even tell you what I feel about this bag. <sighs> oh my God crazy but this is just this is it this is the best one I've ever gotten this is the one this is the dream this is what I've always want I cannot believe I was late to the game on this just like when I got the blue pail I was like one season late for blue broom and that's why this was the next color after blue broom which was the blue pail I don't know if I could have gotten blue broom if I waited but I'm still so happy with that this one though, I was just not willing to wait. My essay is the greatest Hermes essay I've ever had and I've had three others besides him. <sighs> what else can I show you? What else can I show you? You know the deal, you guys. You know the deal. Oh my, I am just absolutely over the moon, over the moon. Oh, just look at that. Like the plastic on the hardware is not looking very good. I will probably have to take it off, but that is going to be a little sad for me because it's like cutting a tag off a very luxury item. It's like, it's, it's not new anymore, you know? And you just want it to be like fresh and new. Oh my God, this is, oh the best shade of pink ever. All right, let's close it up. We'll come back to you regarding the plastic on the hardware. All right, kids, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't ramble too much and I hope I showed you what you wanted to see with this bag. I'm really not experienced with unboxings. I love you guys so, so much and please let me know your thoughts on everything. If you saw the lookbook portion of this video, let me know your favorite pieces of that. Let me know your favorite out of these two bags. And like, I mean, it's her. I mean, you are so stunning too. Don't be sad. I love you so much. It's just that little sis is just a little cuter. Just a little cuter. Okay, I think we've had enough of me for today. I love you guys so, so much. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. I'm starting to go really hard with shorts too, so tune into those. I really appreciate you being here with me, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. So until next time, bye for now.